The best pro contractors take immense pride in their attention to detail and the ability to transform a customer's vision into the home of their dreams. I'm Janet Blake from Fastmaster, and we're traveling the country to talk with some of these extraordinary craftsmen. I'm Brad Morse, and I have a small design build company called Uncarved Block in the Berkshires in Western Massachusetts. We do a lot of high performance building and we do a fair bit of uh, timber framing and we often use wood right off of the client's property. We cut the trees down and mill them right there and turn them into uh, really nice things for their, for their homes. Yeah, that is the first thing that they always point out. They'll bring a guest in and they'll say, that, that piece of wood was sitting right here. That's, that's the thing that makes it special to them. We also specialize in, in constructing and building really complex uh, traditional forms. Part of the great space of having the shop is that we can actually build a lot of those complicated elements right here in the shop, build the whole thing and truck it to the site and, uh, and put it up. We were asked to build a, a new home for a client uh, using as much wood as we possibly could from her property. The main room of her house is 18 feet wide, and so we took the pine trees off of her property and milled them to that exact length so she could have her boards run continuous across the building. In particular, I think her uh, countertops, which she decided to go with wood, they're pretty spectacular. They're spalted hard maple, which is a little bit unusual, but just the figure and the character, pretty unbelievable. We took some more of her maple, the same as the countertops, and we mocked it up and figured it out in plywood first, and then we, uh, the spacing and the angles and everything, and then we, uh, we did it, we made it for it. This project is a little art studio in the woods. It's a small building, but it's, it's got a lot of character to it. The timber frame was cut as part of a Hartwood School workshop. We put a pickling finish on the interior boards, which I like a lot because it gives a little bit of contrast against the timber frame. You can see the, the timbers pop a little bit more. It's really a perfect artist retreat and they really use it every single day. This project is a little bit different than the others in that it's a bit more contemporary. It's also different in that it doesn't have a timber frame at all, but we did actually use a lot of wood off of their property. And we used those uh, trees in the flooring, in the trim, and in the stairs. What really ties these projects together is that we have uh, great clients and we have a great team of carpenters and subcontractors that work well together. Either myself or the carpenters might have a great idea to use a nice piece of wood in a way that we weren't planning on. My father was an architect and a general contractor as well, so I feel like I always knew how to read plans and what a door symbol was. I don't ever remember being taught that. I'm sure I was, but it was probably at a very young age. <laughs> I love what I do and that's kind of what drives me. It changes every day, it's challenging, it's fun. I like building nice, nice buildings, beautiful buildings. Visit this link to learn how to be considered for our Pride and Craftsmanship video series.